We begin with this unimaginable tragedy, really. That's what it is. A young mom, nine months pregnant with twins and coping with the murder of her boyfriend. All of this earlier this month. Suddenly she died two days ago uh, after giving birth herself this afternoon. Her young child and now these two newborns, they are with both without both their mother and their father. Stephanie Ciceras was in the ICU as her boyfriend and father of her three children was being buried. Havan Sacco was shot and killed in his apartment two weeks ago. He was buried just yesterday. Then, less than three hours after his burial, she died of an infection that she apparently contracted during her C-section. And now Zalana Quillen live for us this afternoon to tell us just how this family and friends are coping today. Alana? Well, Shannon, just moments ago, Stephanie's family made their first public comments since Stephanie's sudden passing yesterday. They are obviously heartbroken, but she worked here at Juan Batista Pediatrics, and so many of their patients and families have brought all of these donations in for the family. We've got diapers and baby formula, all of her coworkers rallying to do anything they can to help. <laughs> trying to find words when there are none to describe what everyone here is feeling. What's certain is that three young children, including newborn twins, will go through life without their mom and dad. I hate to use the word over again, but we're just very devastated. On July 11th, West Palm Beach police say someone shot and killed 26-year-old Javon Suko inside his home at Renaissance Apartments. Javon left behind a two-year-old daughter and a girlfriend pregnant with their twins. Looking forward to the twins coming and then tragedy hit and then double whammy hit and now we're just trying to figure out how to move forward from here. Friends tell me Stephanie gave birth just days after his death and suffered complications from the C-section. She died in the ICU at Palms West just hours after Javon's funeral. Her family is now doing everything they can to help the children left behind. And it doesn't bring their parents back, but it does help because it's one less thing we have to think about right now. We can grieve. They're also in the process of putting together a trust fund. Now, the family is still gathering donations here at the Juan Batista Pediatrics office. We also have a GoFundMe page. That link is posted on our website, WPTV.com. Now, West Palm Beach police have told me they still have nothing to report in the search for Javon's killer. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Lana Quillen for the Now South Florida. Can you believe this? I cannot believe what I just heard. A tragedy. Number one, I found out that a whammy hit and a double whammy hit. You know what? This just makes me a very, very, completely angry. What I just saw and what I just heard... This just makes me mad. A mother gives birth to two children after her boyfriend was shot and killed for no reason, for no reason at all. How can you ever imagine giving birth to twins after leaving behind a two-year-old daughter and now the three children are orphans they have to go through without their mother and father this is this is such a big humongous tragedy they're doing everything they can to help these children now they have to go without their mother and their father can you imagine that I just cannot believe this. This just breaks my heart. Can you imagine something like this could ever happen to your own child? For no reason. For no reason at all. Just think about it. You have to be careful when you give children. I don't know what I'm saying, but, but, but I'm just asking. I'm just saying, 
The grandmother is distraught. Yeah, I heard. Tragedy hit and then double whammy hit. You know what? I gotta feel sorry for those children. But for the bottom of my heart, you two and you, you three kids, I am so sorry that you lost your dad after he was shot and killed. And then you lost your mother. Your mother just died in childbirth? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. And your grandmother is distraught. You know what, kids? I feel for you. I feel for you. Listen. The moment that tragedy hit, it broke everybody into tears. Just think about it. Any person who go through without their mother and their father it, it, it kind of makes me sick. I just don't know how it could happen, but it did. And it just happened. It happened from the blink of an eye, a blow of an eye. That can really happen to anyone around the world. You guys are watching this on YouTube, but this is a devastating decision that the mother had to make. Now she's with her boyfriend up in heaven. And I cannot believe this. How can you imagine this? A mother died giving birth to two twins and then after losing her boyfriend for being shot and they haven't identified the killer. The moment I heard this on YouTube, the mother was crying on that TV station. I'm completely upset, angry, enraged. I don't know how I can understand this, but this has just make me wanna vomit. It makes me wanna grow even angrier. But if it's a man who shot the father who left behind three children after the mother died, I don't know what I'm gonna feel. Guys, Leave me in the comments on WWE Kid 1. You have to subscribe. I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not interested in this one. But. I know how I feel. I lost my father to pancreatic cancer back in September 2007. And my mother is sick. But. Comments on your thoughts and your prayers. To make sure. That this doesn't happen to any parent around the world who loses their boyfriend or their father or have a chance to get married or something like that. Make sure it doesn't happen to you. I'm asking you this. Let me put it like this. If you give birth to two children and died in childbirth and your father dies, I, I mean your boyfriend dies I mean. And you die, and your children are distraught, and your and your mother is distraught. How would you feel? How would your grandmother feel? How would your mother feel? How would you feel? How would you feel if your children are orphans like these three children are, and the mother is sobbing on national television? You know what, this just makes me, makes me sad. Our thoughts and our prayers goes to our, to our three grandchildren and our families. Make sure you do everything in your power and your heart to help this grandmother. Make sure you pay any money you can do to, to, to put a trust fund for those three children. This is important. They've lost their parents. 
it doesn't bring them back. But, but, but the Lord always makes a way. Okay? I'm just asking. Hit me on the comments if you want to know. Subscribe.